approved in advances, 2024 tax credits, big changes coming that it's going to be putting a lot of money into the pockets of millions of Americans has just been approved and advances by the House Ways Means Committee. And this is going to be retroactively applied. So you're going to be getting money that you missed from before as well. And I'm going to be letting you know all the details of who's going to be getting it and what exactly you can expect. Now take a look at the headlines coming out in the last 24 hours. House panel advances $78 billion tax break bill in strong bipartisan support. Republicans and Democrats supporting this Bipartisan deal to expand child tax credit, revive business tax breaks, advances in Congress. House panel advances tax deal with resounding bipartisan support. And we're going to be taking a look at the details of the Tax Relief for American Families and Workers Act of 2024. Ways and Means Committee approved wide-ranging tax bill. This just coming out yesterday. I'm going to give you all the details. Now, let me know your thoughts on this because we've been waiting for this for several years and now finally seeing it come to fruition do you think it has anything to do with the fact that it is an election year? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But regardless, a lot of people could be getting a lot of money. So I'm going to give you the latest details and we're going to dive right in. But before we do, do me a quick favor. If you appreciate the updates, me putting it on the screen, citing the sources, reading right from it, smash the like button for me. Just takes a second to stay up to date. It's totally free. Why not? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and also to stay connected off of social media platforms, consider joining the newsletter at www.steveramnews.com. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get you caught up on the latest on these big changes that are going to be coming to tax credits, and a lot of people could be seeing a lot of money here very soon. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so as always, I cite all the sources, so this is going to be linked in the description below, and it says, The Tax Relief for American Families and Workers Act of 2024, Ways and Means Committee Approves Wide-Ranging Tax Bill. Now, it says, On January 19th, 2024, yesterday, the House Ways and Means Committee overwhelmingly approved the Tax Relief for American American Families and Workers Act of 2024 by a 40 to 3 vote. The bill provides for increases in the child tax credit, delays the requirement to deduct research and experimentation expenditures over a five-year period, extends 100% bonus depreciation through 2025, and increases the code section 179 deduction limitation, among other business-friendly provisions. So this is not just the child tax credit. There's going to be a lot of businesses and other credits that are going to be made available. The bill would also extend tax treaty-like benefits to Taiwan and extend some disaster-related tax relief, the provisions are paid for by changes to the COVID-era employee retention tax credit, including an acceleration of the termination of the period for making new claims and increasing penalties on erroneous or fraudulent credit claims. So in other words, they're going to be rescinding those funds and using it to help pay for this. Most of the significant provisions in the bill are retroactively applied. So in other words, this is going to be for tax year 2023. You will get it now. They're going to make sure that it is applied. It is applicable to prior tax years. The hope is to get this bill to President Biden before filing season begins for the 2023 tax year. However, it is unclear if it is possible given House and Senate schedules during January, though the bill enjoys bipartisan support in both chambers of Congress. So they're not sure if they're going to be able to get this done on time so that way people can have this applied before tax season. Even if Congress could pass the bill before the filing season starts, changes that are retroactively applied to the 2023 tax season would create headaches for the IRS and would surely lead to delays in processing returns. All right, so let's get into the details of the child tax credit first. Now, a little disclaimer, this is going to be a little confusing, but I'm going to explain it after we read through the text. Individual Tax Relief Child Tax Credit. The loan change for individuals in the proposed bill is an expansion of the child tax credit. Under current law, the child tax credit is equal to $2,000 per child for taxpayers who do not have earned income in excess of certain threshold amounts. The portion of this $2,000 can be applied as a refundable credit up to an inflation-adjusted amount of $1,600 for 2023. For a taxpayer with one or two children, the refundable portion is limited to lesser of the balance of the child tax credit amount to which the taxpayer would otherwise be entitled based on the number of qualifying children or 15% of the amount which the taxpayer earned income exceeds $2,500. And for a taxpayer with three or more children, the refundable portion of the credit is limited to the lesser of the balance of the child tax credit amount of which the taxpayer 
would otherwise be entitled to based on the number of qualifying children or greater of excess of the taxpayer's Social Security taxes over an earned income credit allowed to the taxpayer for the tax year or 15% of the taxpayer's earned income in excess of 2500 Under the proposed law, the calculation of the refundable amount will be determined on a per-child basis meaning that once the earned income amount in excess of $2,500 is multiplied by 15%, that amount is then multiplied by the total number of children, resulting in the total refundable amount. This change would apply for 2023, 2024, and 2025 tax years. Additionally, the maximum amount of the refundable credit will be statutorily increased for three tax years. Instead of relying upon inflation-adjusted increases, these amounts will be $1,800 for 2023, 1900 for 2024, and 2000 for 2025. The maximum amount of the overall child tax credit will also be adjusted for inflation from the 2000 amount in 2024 and 2025. So you're going to see some increases, nothing like we saw during the pandemic, but you will see an increase of likely a couple hundred dollars per child. Now, there's also going to be business tax relief as well. A number of business incentives that have been passed in recent years, going back to tax cuts and jobs acts of 2017, has expired in the last couple of years. This bill would extend some of those provisions, delay the implementation of other provisions, and expand some long-standing deductions. So research and experiment expenses. Under the current law, domestic research research and experimental expenditures paid or incurred in tax years beginning after December 31st of 2021 are required to amortize over a five-year period. In tax years prior to 2021, these expenses could be immediately deducted in the year in which they were paid or incurred. Now, the proposed law would delay the tax years beginning after December 31st of 2025. The application of this rule with regard to research and experimentation costs attributed to domestic activities. The bill provides transitional rules applicable to interactions with research credits as well as making accounting changes. Bonus depreciation as well. Over the last 20 years, first year depreciation or bonus depreciation has gone through many changes and iterations. The most recent iteration was from the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, which generally allowed qualified property placed in service after September 17th of 2017 and before January 1st of 2023 to be immediately expensed in the year in which the property was placed in service 100% bonus depreciation. They're going to be bringing this back. Also, employee retention tax credit, or the ERTC, the above changes are largely paid for through the changes of the employee retention tax credit. So they're going to be rescinding this one back, using those funds to help provide for this. So that way there is not additional spending that's being applied, but the money is going out to parents and to businesses. Now, other provisions that are going to be included in this bill as well is Taiwan. Much of the bill relates to Taiwan. Due to the inability of the United States to enter into a bilateral tax treaty with Taiwan, the bill provides treaty-like relief for the Taiwanese people. Also, disaster relief. The bill also includes some disaster relief provisions. These include an extension of relief first provided in the Taxpayer Certainty and Disaster Tax Relief Act of 2020. The relief as passed by the original 2020 Act includes the forgiveness and early withdrawal penalties under Code Section 72T for qualified disaster distribution, recontribution of amounts withdrawn from home purchases, and an increase in the amount of loans from qualified plans. So these are going to be in there as well. 1099 MISC and 1099 NEC filing thresholds. The bill would increase the thresholds for the need to file the form of 1099 NEC or 1099 MISC by businesses paying for services performed by an independent contractor or other similar payments from 600 to 1,000 for payments made after December 31st of 2023. After 2024, the 1,000 would be adjusted for inflation. Affordable housing. The bill would also increase the 9% low income housing tax credit ceiling by 12.5% for calendar years 23 through 25, as it was during calendar years 2018 through 2021. Now, the bill would also lower the bond financing threshold to 30% for projects financed by bonds with an issue date before 20. And I'm not really sure what 20 stands for. It looks like they, they left off the rest of the year. So there you have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And again, just to clarify, this is not finalized. This is advancing through Congress. It's been approved by the Ways and Means Committee, but we will see if any changes, modifications take place 
as it makes its way through Congress and to President Joe Biden's desk. Now, I will keep you up to date every step of the way. And in addition to that, we're hearing that it might be needed as there's conflict globally taking place right now. And we are hearing warnings of World War III. Now, to see the latest on that, be sure to check out this video right here as I covered it in detail for you. And like I said, as more comes out, I'll keep you up to date here on the channel. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.